Welcome back, gamers. And by gamers, I mean party people. And by party people, I also mean gamers. Welcome back to another laboratory infiltration. Where... I can't turn around. There we go. Show me your true form. Yeah, so... This is a day later from the last session that I recorded or the last episode. So... I don't... Oh yeah, we're infiltrate. Oh yeah, I remember. Now we're infiltrating the palace because it's been a week since uh, Maruki was like, just live in this world for a little bit and then come tell me that you don't like it. And so we're on our way to tell him that we don't like it. And now we want... We want the old, the old world back, you know? I still don't understand... Uh, Akechi's motivation, I'm still curious about that, on why he would rather live in the reality where he's guilty right. of a bunch of murders and most likely gonna go to prison for the rest of his natural life, opponent. than live in a reality Show where none of his crimes happen and nobody knows, like, what he did or who he is, you know? He didn't see us at all. Like, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it's whatever. You wiped him out. Akechi has a really cool mask, though. I'll give him that. It's hey, level up. All right. Joker, there's a chest. Like, I still feel bad for Doctor Maruki, though. Like, like I said in the previous episode, he, he, his heart is like in the right place. Like, he just wants to help people, but he's going about it, like, all wrong. Like... I really like Dr. Maruki as, like, a secret villain. Like, it- it works. We don't know what may be waiting for us. Let us explore carefully. And I feel like, uh... Also, the fact that we now have a showtime with Akechi... All but means that he isn't gonna betray us or anything because it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for like a catchy to be Like a super final boss like that just wouldn't make sense at least to me hmm. There's no doubt that Maruki is up ahead make sure you're ready Okay One's at full HP. And give Joker some SP items. I don't know what the hell is about to happen, so I just want to make sure we're ready. Big ol' arena. This is kind of cool. What Thank the? Thank you for coming. What's wrong with Sumire? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? Yeah, they all did. Are you still jumping the gun with this? I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off the team by you guys. This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. This reality. I was so sad when she transferred for her parents' jobs, but all's well that ends well. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Please, I want you to understand. For their sake, as well as yours. 
I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. Really? Then back to Leblon, people. It's curry time. Oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? My friends want to stay in this reality. That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamashita's palace, and that's when I met you guys. When we'd go to Mementos, I'd transform into a... But, is that really true? Well, it's time. No, he's brainwashed him. <sighs> if I accept Maruki's offer, my friends and I will be able to live happily in this reality he's created. Or so he says. If we stay in this world, we really could lead happy lives, free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted to allow for new circumstances. There's probably no way to avoid that. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. Ooh, okay. Well, obviously the answer is I can't accept this reality. I have a feeling we'll get a bad ending if we accept it. Uh, let me check the guide real quick. Yep, it says refuse Maruki's deal. Yep. I figured as much. I can't accept this reality. It's a lie. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. Don't hide from the truth. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Samire's fault. I can't live that kind of life. Yeah, boy. Please. Don't try to stop me. If you do... Then I'll... Are you serious? You don't want any of this smoke. How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I agree. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Wait, I have to 1v1 her? Please. Don't make me do this. Nice. I mean, she has bless. Hell. Hmm. Yeah, let's just stay with him. Let's go. You're mine. Why are you doing this to me? Please, just leave me alone. Please don't do this to me. Persona. Yeah, she's going to try to crit me with that sword skill. Oh, your funeral. Come, go down. Oh, we are just beating the shit out of her. Persona. Oh, she's just gonna charge. Okay. Your funeral. Let's go. Ravage now. Goodbye. Why? Thanks for the help, Akechi. I appreciate it, bro. Looks like you lost. 
why? You need to stop. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor... Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire to live as Kasumi, I'll actualize it! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Did he? Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, escape from the nightmare. <laughs> what? No, I. I don't want to go back to my life in Cinders ever again! What the hell? This so called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. Oh boy. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. Oh, okay. It ate the smaller one? What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Oh, you're gonna remind me what you're weak to? Fine. Whatever. Persona! Let's go back to this dude. Go down. I'll break them. <laughs> I guess it's important that we take out the. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say we need to take out the little guy so she doesn't heal. Oh, nice. Oh, I forgot we didn't have wrong then. I was like, oh, this might hurt a little bit. Hmm. I gotta be careful with the catchy. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. It's time. There. <laughs> At least the grunt bug dudes don't have, like, a lot of health or a lot of defense. Like, they go down pretty quick. to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. Oh, what's happening? We can't afford to waste time on this shit! Oh, who's coming? Here it comes! Think so. Hey, Ryuji. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, way to tank the electrical hit. Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. 
At least it seemed to work out in our favor. Hey, what's up, everybody? I knew you'd come. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that a Ketchikun and Dr. Maruki? No, she's always trapped by. Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? Uh, so much of this shit makes no sense, but we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first, right, Joker? Do I get to right. choose the lineup? Let's get in formation. Okay, good. They got who I wanted. I wanted Morgana and Ryuji, and I got him. Why did they come here? I won't hold back. Zero. Come. There. I'll break them. Nice, nice. Gaming. Oh! Oh, hell yeah, hold this for me. Hold that god's hand for me. Oh, another fucking crit? Let's go. Actually, let's just stay here. I think she's gonna just keep using Bless. And the last thing I need is for her to start getting more plus ones. Let's do an Almighty. Let's set up. I like how everybody just shows up and they're like, Okay, yeah, I guess we're just fighting alongside of Ketchy now. Yeah. Like, yeah, he was behind us getting framed and tried to kill us and whatnot, and yada yada yada, but it's cool now. We're, they're standing next to each other, they must be good. Oh, you here. Ah. Oh, she went after the right one this time. Let's go. Ravage them! Ah. Nice, Ryuji. Can we get that crit? Nope, that's okay. She does not hit very hard, does she? Go down. Nice. My power. Really? Oh, we only got one on her. That's a shame. A tragedy. A modern tragedy. But that's not a tragedy. Nice. Oh, here we go. Leave the rest to me. Here we go. Hey. I can hear them. The bells of midnight are tolling. Now, my dream won't be. The clock strikes midnight.
you've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace, is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. Why? Why the Your third? Your views can't align with mine by then. We'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's got a rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something something to do with dr maruki anyway hey how much do you already know about this stuff i should tell them what i know so far so dr maruki he altered our reality to make our dreams come true this is all too much for me to handle at once apologies for the interruption Mind if I interject? That's right! Akechi! There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. Akechi's helping. For now. So you're not here to fight us? I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here, Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? <sighs> I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, 
Are you all right? I... Can you stand? You are really heavy. Oh. Yes. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no. You don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh yeah, third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. Hmm? Didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom... Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. See? Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. So does he remember, or what? Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way too now. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right. Why were you human, Mona? You're supposed to be a cat! I am not a... Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess I am a cat. He's finally accepted it? How did we never realize? We really are in the end game now. You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with a Kachikun? We need to find them! Yeah, fuck Akechi. Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. Are you sure? Yep, no worries. I'm fine. Boy. School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. What, you got something to say? You've gone cat again. Hey, wait. hey, don't rub it in. I did it to help you, all right? <sighs> Sheesh. All this trouble with Yoshizawa and Maruki, we've got nothing but problems right now. Yep. For now, we should all meet up at the hideout. We gotta recap the situation and hold a strategy meeting. I've been trying to wrap my head around all this, and it's just not happening. I can't think straight at all. I can hardly blame you. I'm still so confused myself. Either way, I think we've all earned a bit of rest. Maybe a good night's sleep will help us all calm down. You're right. Certainly the combat has tired has us tired out as well. We could all use some time to decompress. And on that note, good night. Well, we're gonna need time to figure all this out. Either way, we can think about this tomorrow. For now, we should go to sleep. 
Oh yeah, you guys like the room? I've been collecting all the decorations, or trying to. I've missed out on a few, but that's alright. Also, I like how the idol poster has Risei on it. Like, that's a nice touch. A nice little callback to 4. You gotta, you gotta respect it. Anyways, let's slumber. Anyway, let's think about it tomorrow. I will sleep. Can I go back to the velvet room yet? Hey, look at that. It's been quite some time. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. These clothes. Why am I still in chains? You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the god of control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However... You held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. What do I do now? We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. Oh, okay. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Lady Lavensa told you that? We ought to tell everyone else that, too. Let's all meet up after school. Um... Uh... Good morning. Um... I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. Physically, I'm fine, but... Mentally, to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Are you okay? My memories are still pretty fuzzy, and I haven't really processed everything yet. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. Happy New Year, everyone. You all did your homework, right? Next year is going to be all about your college entrance exam, so you'd better start preparing now. Oh, and if you cause any trouble, that'll show up on your transcripts, so make sure you behave yourselves, okay? Now, time to turn in that homework. Let's see who's on class duty today. Man. Have you been studying? Well, not that you really had time for that. Everyone rested up. More or less, my mind was racing so much that I passed out before I even realized it. Same here. I think I've sorted through my own thoughts, but I'd still like to hear everyone else's take. Let's make it the hideout. Sure thing. We'll come to the hideout right after school then. Gotcha. Cool, I'll be waiting for all of you. Hey. Definitely need to update everyone about Lady Lavenza. And cook up our plans for here on out too. have to choose our own path, eh? The Ketchi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire, but that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy. Right? 
I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality's wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so... somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. Oh, now you all We're listen to him. We're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Suicide? Oh, right, check out the palace. Okay, yeah, right, right, sorry. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality-bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. This is Lavenza speaking. How the hell do you have this number? Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. That would be helpful, thank you. Wait, how is she even calling you? And how'd she know how high our wills are? Oh, <gasps> did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. We're at. It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us convene at your school. Really? At Shujin? That's the best place? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it, but since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offered to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... We've heard that one before. Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. Hell yeah. Guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. Alright, let's head home for now. Do you think Lavenza will make it to the school? I hope she doesn't get lost or anything. Yeah, don't you think it's a bad idea her wandering around in a in that getup? That's true. Hopefully, no one gives her a hard time. If someone does, you better come up with a good excuse for her. Argana's on top of it. For real? What? No, I'm not. How am I supposed to pull something like that off? A kitty helping out a little kid sounds like one dynamite duo. That could last three seasons in a movie, easy. That's not exactly helpful to us right now, though. At any rate, I'm certain she would reach out to us if something were to go airy. That's true. We can put our faith in Lavenza. Agreed. Let us know if anything changes. Yeah. 
Why would Lady Lavenza want to meet up at the school? It's not like she just wants to check out the place, right? How did you see my phone and what I was sending to people when you're all the way over there, Morgana? I should write something. Can I go out? Hey. Really? Blame. <sighs> you sleeping on my dick. Your name ain't even Haru. Get off. No. <laughs> Sorry, it's nothing. Come on, what's up? No. I was just remembering what happened that night. You remember, right? The night before we went into Mementos to erase it, before we dealt with Shido. Hey! Remember how I said I'd finally found the place where I belong? Even though I said that and really believed it, I still fell right into Maruki's hands. I know I've made it obvious how much I want to be human. More than once. I thought it would give me a chance with Lady On, but... <sighs> what I did was just so lame. I can't believe I was off having a blast while you were busy trying to help us. But you came back. That's what matters. <sighs> well, yeah, that's true. But I mean, that was just the right thing to do. Now that I think about it, you've been helping me from the very beginning. Hell, I was locked up in a prison when we first met. I'm nowhere near cool. You don't have to be cool. Right. Well, that's true. And after all we've been through together, there's no point trying to act cool in front of you. Listen up. You know what? I want to make you a promise right now. From here on, I'm going to be more independent. I just keep relying on you for everything because deep down, I thought you could figure everything out for me. That's all changing. I'm gonna stand proud on my own four feet. And I'm gonna be the one to protect you. I promise I will. Oh, is this like the... Oh, it's the second awakening, like in four. Everybody's persona evolves again. Oh. Oh, I see. The first two, like, phases just came together and, like, merged. I've discovered a new... No, my original power. All right. Morgana's Mercurius has transformed in Diego. Okay. All right, time to serve Maruki his just desserts. Anyone who tries to pull one over us is... Like that is asking for it. Let's do our best. Right, I'm sorry to ask for all the hassle. You and I are going to be even greater partners now. Let's turn in for the well, night. Well, things are going to get hectic starting tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Miracle Rush. Medium physical to all foes with a high chance of a crit. Nice. Actually, you know what? Maybe that was a bad idea. Ahem. A new year is starting. You all look sleepy. What? Did you doze through the new year? Was Shogatsu one big excuse to laze around? Good grief. Shogatsu is not supposed to be an excuse to relax, you know. We decorate with Kadomatsu, Kagami Mochi, and Shimanawa in order to welcome the Toshigami deities. It's one of the oldest traditions in Japan. By the way, Cherry Blossom Viewing and even Children's Day are meant to commemorate deities and spirits. Japan's got a lot of gods, so naturally there ended up being a lot of events and rituals to accommodate them all. There's a phrase referring to all the Shino gods as a collective. Anyone know it offhand? Alright, Takamaki. I'll bet you slept through Shigatsu. Huh? Oh yeah, I mean... Hey, wait! Seriously? I'm so unlucky, I didn't even sleep through Shigatsu. Were you awake? Can you give me a hint? Some phrase about the gods, but it's kind of abstract, right? What's this phrase supposed to illustrate about the gods of Shino? How numerous they are. Yeah, I think that's right. These specific number, right? 
What's the phrase again? The one about how many gods there are in Shinto? Eight million. Yeah, I think that's it. So people call the gods of Shinto the eight million gods. Correct. That's correct. We call them Yar- I'm not gonna try that. Or the eight million gods. Though that number's not meant to be taken literally. Yo, yo Rozu is essentially shorthand for myriad gods, an uncountable number. In olden days, the Japanese believed that gods dwelled in everything. Well, with these traditions, you could say these beliefs still affect our lives today. It's a wonderful thing, really. We really need to cherish our history. Nice going! Oh yeah, I have all these maxed out. I got these maxed out really early. The guy had, like, had everything super optimized. You're pretty good at studying, I'm impressed. You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As oh, hmm? sorry. That's Let's follow it. Yeah, let's go. Chase it down so you don't lose sight of it. I think I'm gonna outrun it. This butterfly is not ready for my oh. speedrun strats. <sighs> Where on earth is it trying to go? Come on, we gotta follow it for now. Oh, the game's doing it for me. Okay. The bathroom! Oh, wait, the office. Okay. <laughs> it just goes to the bathroom. For real? That butterfly. Anyway. Looks like we're the ones who can see it, and it seems like it has some purpose. There's no point in thinking about that right now. Let's get inside that nurse's office quickly. Lady Lavenza. Hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I see. Exchanging common expressions upon meeting like humans do, it has a rather pleasant feeling, but that is irrelevant. Let's turn to the matter at hand. As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? <sighs> Whoa, that's trippy. I guess we should get everyone in here. She disappeared? Infiltration success. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we are lucky it went as well as it did. As long as I was you gonna say of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. I was gonna say, why do you use and Futaba say, have gym clothes? I hadn't expected you to <laughs> actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. Again. All right, then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before? We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean... You're ready to begin? Uh, ain't that our line? Care to fill us in? Yes. 
I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it, as well as the true nature of his power. Here we go, story time. Do you know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. But we destroyed mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? Isn't it gone though? Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav in Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Uh, could he really have done all that? I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization. Although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. So he had a persona the whole if time. Just his subconscious? He's using a persona in the real world. So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan. It was most likely through the use of actualization. Wow. Still though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Indeed. The being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Oh. He took over his position? What do you mean? And how? Is the society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki, who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did? I mean, he's got a point. Masses were invested in the Phantom Thieves, not Maruki. Wait, you what? What, what? what do you mean? We, we never wish for anything, anything like, like this. Like, 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 like. Is that really true? true, true. It's most likely because... What? We wished for it. What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? <sighs> what about our counseling? You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this happened at all, but... 
Well, no matter what path you might have to take to get there, I hope your track dreams will still come to do you some good in the end. Thanks. Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. Let's put an end to this. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes, this realization changes none of what we must do. Very well, then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So, what you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with Mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. And... I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. Yeah, like how the hell did you survive? Uh... I mean the palace's ruler? Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Maybe he wants to save us. Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Duh, dude. The Phantom Thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? We may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. 
What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. Hey, she was listening the whole time. I saw you. Oh, okay. Just straight up shows her. You do not look good with bangs. I just... <laughs> Guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a... Welcome. Um... Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. It's delicious. Mm. I made it with rat poison. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. About the actualization? You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... Like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Samire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. Do you still want to run? No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this, but now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? You should kill a Ketchi for me, that would save me a lot of time. You have to decide, not me. <sighs> you can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai. But you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Let's reform society! Right, we're going to the palace. We're going to take back the world. The real world. Rewriting reality. I would never have thought such a thing possible. Not only that, but this palace is ruled by a Persona user. How does that make any sense? I know god modding when I see it. At this point, it basically is a god, right? This shit makes Shido look small time. We need to come up with a plan. That's a good point. We should meet up tomorrow. Sounds good. Speaking of which, how should we contact Akechi? I guess we could let him back into the group chat, right? Yep, that'd be quickest. Let's put him in. Alright, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Um... One month to go, huh? We'd better come up with a plan. That time is going to go by fast. Alright, people. That'll do it for this one. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.